Hey, Dr. Cindy here. Thank you so much for continuing to send in your questions. It has been my pleasure to be your on-demand coach during all of this. And today's group of questions actually came from folks that are doing client-facing work who can't face clients right now. And I'm not talking about salespeople. I'm actually talking about folks like dentists, chiropractors, personal trainers, estheticians. A lot of you guys reached out and said, you know, how in the world am I supposed to be making money when I can't actually see my clients? And that is a real challenge and completely understand the fear around that and um, the anxiety. So I wanted to speak to that in particular to give you guys some ideas of things that maybe you could do with the time that you have now. The first thing that I would ask you to think about is, is your plan solid already? How have you been getting in front of your clients? How have you been keeping in touch with past clients? How have you been utilizing your past clients to give you referrals? Maybe now is the chance to take a step back and look at your sales and marketing plan and sort of solidify that. And that's actually going to help you to grow your business in the long term. Maybe not necessarily bringing in income this very second, but it will help you once we get back to business as usual um, when all of this is over. The other thing that I would encourage you to think about is the innovation around your industry. What does it look like 10 years from now in the industry that you're in? Are we still going to be going into the office for adjustments or are there things that you could be helping us to do over the Internet? Posture changes, ergonomic posture changes, all sorts of things that you could be helping with. And something that's really interesting right now is everybody's working from home and I have seen some pretty crazy setups of home offices. I have seen laptops balanced on ironing boards on the edge of a bathtub. <laughs> so maybe as the chiropractors out there, you could actually be helping us to do preventative maintenance of our bodies during this time. But again, for the dentists, for the estheticians, those that still can't face clients, there are things that you could be doing during this time to generate income. One thing that came to mind for me is actually doing continuing education for your colleagues. Are there associations? Are there places where you could be doing continuing education and being the teacher and be paid for that? Another thing is, can you do some sort of subscription service to your advice? You guys are very smart and very gifted and you have a lot to share. So is there a blog? Is there a podcast? Is there something that you could be sharing that information, not just with your patients, but even with your colleagues again? And then the final thing is, think about the innovation of what you could be doing after this. You know, is this still your life's passion? If it is, that's fantastic. Keep going. But is this something that you can parlay into helping others? And I don't think any of us would be in the businesses that we're in that are client facing if we didn't love helping other people. And so if you're an esthetician, if you're a personal trainer, if you're a chiropractor, if you're a dentist, you're wanting to help other people. So maybe this is the chance to look at your career path and say, how could I help a larger population? Maybe there's a way that you could actually become a consultant or a coach to folks in your industry to help them. Maybe you're weathering the storm really well and you can go and help others to do the same. So don't be short sighted among the gifts that you have to share with others. I encourage you to take a step back look at this as an opportunity to see how you bring those gifts to the world and maybe you even might find a new career path in this as well and then when you get back to business as usual of course you'll go back and see patients or clients but there is a way that you can continue to generate income in this but you may have to pivot just a bit but i know you can do it and you have so many gifts to share so please keep those questions coming you guys can find me at at first lady of sales or hashtag ask dr cindy or of course you're welcome to email me directly at dr cindy at drcindy.com be well stay safe and take care of yourself